A320 Engine failure after takeoff. V1 Rotate. Pilot monitoring announces engine failure and cancels caution. Rotate to a pitch of 12.5 degrees, then follow SRS orders. When the FMGC detects an engine failure, the speed target becomes the higher of V2 or current speed limited to V2 plus 15 knots. Beta target replaces side slip indicator. With a positive rate of climb and positive movement of the altimeter and radio altimeter, gear up. Positive climb. Gear up. Gear up. Apply rudder input to center the beta target. With the beta target centered, trim the rudder. The rotary selector on the pedestal trims at a rate of 1 degree per second. With an engine failed, the trim range is around 15 to 18 degrees. Ensure aircraft is trimmed and follow flight directors before engaging the autopilot. Once the appropriate flight path has been established and the aircraft is 400 feet above the runway, ECAM actions. I have control, I have the radio, ECAM actions. Engine 1, fail. Engine mode selector, ignition. Ignition. Thrust lever 1, idle. Thrust levers should be moved by pilot flying. Movement of the thrust levers, engine master switches and fire push button must be confirmed by both pilots. Thrust lever 1, idle. Confirm. Confirm. Thrust lever 1, idle. With the mode selector at ignition and thrust lever at idle, the FADEX will attempt an automatic relight. Engine master 1, off. Confirm. Confirm. Engine master 1, off. Consider damage if high vibration prior to flame out, loud noise or explosion, Repeated and uncontrollable engine stalls. Abnormal engine indications. In this engine failure, there is damage, so no option for relight. Engine 1, fire push button. Push. Confirm. Confirm. Engine 1, fire push button, push. The fire push button isolates the engine from fuel, hydraulic power, electrical power and bleed air, arms the squibs. The ECAM countdown allows N1 to decrease, reducing nacelle ventilation, increasing the effect of the agent. Agent 1, discharge. When ECAM suggests there is no damage, a relight can be attempted by the crew. However, it is recommended to perform all ECAM actions first and only consider the relight procedure when reaching the status page. Stop ECAM. Clean up aircraft at acceleration altitude. Delay acceleration until the engine is secure, however, do not exceed the maximum engine out acceleration altitude. Maximum takeoff thrust is limited to 10 minutes, toga. An engine is considered secure when the mode switch is at ignition, thrust lever at idle, and 
For an engine failure without damage, engine master off. For an engine failure with damage, agent one discharged. For an engine fire, fire extinguished or agent two discharged. At acceleration altitude, push vertical speed to give vertical speed zero. Vertical speed zero. At F speed, select flap one. Flap one. Speed check. Flap one. At S speed, select flap zero. Flap zero. Speed check. Flap zero. As the speed reaches green dot, Pull altitude selector for open climb. Climb, open climb. Set MCT when lever MCT message appears on FMA. MCT. If thrust lever's in flex, set climb briefly, then MCT. If thrust lever in toga, set MCT directly. After flap retraction, disarm spoilers and turn off runway and takeoff lights. Continue ECAM. Monitor fuel and balance. TCAS is set to TA as aircraft performance may not be capable of RA orders. Clear engine one fail. Clear engine one fail. Land ASAP, AMBA. Advise the crew to consider landing at the nearest suitable airport. Secondary system failures. System pages. Pilot monitoring analyzes bleed page. Clear bleed. Clear bleed. Pilot monitoring analyzes electric page. Clear electric. Clear electric. Pilot monitoring analyzes hydraulics page. Clear hydraulics. Clear hydraulics. At status, stop ECAM. Stop ECAM. After takeoff checklist. After takeoff checklist, down to the line and computer resets or OEBs. Any computer resets or OEBs? No computer resets or OEDs. Read status. Pilot monitoring reads status page. Decam actions complete.